guys, welcome back. So, Democrats have lost their shit yet again. So now that they know that they basically have ultimate power to do whatever the fuck they want, they are trying to get Madison Cawthorn expelled by Nancy Pelosi. He spoke at the Trump rally that happened just before people broke into the Capitol, and by him saying, speak up, you know, let your voice be heard, they want to expel him over that. Part of North Carolina, people are demanding the expulsion of newly elected Republican Representative Madison Cawthorn from Congress. Protesters claim that Cawthorn is more focused on the national spotlight than representing the people of his district. Cawthorn appeared at President Trump's rally on January 6th that led to the bomb and the riots that caused this damage at the Capitol. Even an online petition on change.org calling for Cawthorn to resign. See so many of my friends who are up in Congress with me who are about to go back to that Capitol Hill. And at 12 o'clock today, we will be contesting the election. But my friends, bear in mind there is a significant portion of our party that says we should just sit idly by and sit on our hands. They have no backbone! GOP Congressman Madison Cawthorn called out uh, by cancel culture after North Carolina Democrats sent a letter to Speaker Nancy Pelosi calling for his expulsion from the House. They claim his seditious behavior, those are quotes, helped incite the insurrection at the U.S. Capitol last week. Why are these the things they focus on? The dude just got elected. He just got the position. Can you people just do your jobs, what you're actually supposed to be doing? Democrats, I don't know if they're stupid or really like think they're being deceptive, but no one believes that you people want unity. When this is the kind of things that you pursue in your day, when you're supposed to be serving the country, no one believes you want unity. An opportunity to put America first, to put her people first. Today is a moment for members of Congress to put aside partisan politicking and place people over power. I urge my colleagues to vote against this divisive impeachment and realize that dividing America will not save this republic. I urge my colleagues to not simply vote for what feels good. Of course it feels good for the Democrats to have a united constituency for a few more days. But I was elected to come here and vote for things that actually do good to bring much needed help to the American people. I am willing to take the first step and extend my hand across the aisle to say, vote against impeachment, vote in favor of a unified nation, and I will forsake partisanship and work with you, no matter who you are or what party you come from. Madam Speaker, I urge that we all vote to finally put America first. So something um, ironic, predictable, and sad all at the same time, is Democrats' sudden turnaround of their attitude about opening up. In the same week, and you know, just like a span of two or three days, suddenly Cuomo and Gavin Newsom don't like lockdowns. Suddenly they both have plans to reopen soon. How interesting. Suddenly they're realizing all the negative effects of lockdowns. Wow, only took you guys a year. It took a year for all these idiots to um, come to the realization Lockdowns don't work. As the evidence of Democrats using COVID as a political ploy so that Trump wouldn't get reelected. It was obvious from the beginning and everything they're doing now that Biden's gonna be taken over just makes it even more obvious. Well, governor now pushing to reopen the economy. We simply cannot stay closed until the vaccine hits critical mass. The cost is too high. We will have nothing left to open. We must reopen the economy, but we must do it smartly and safely. Vaccine or no vaccine, we're back. America wants to be open, and Americans want to be open. As I have said for some time now, a national shutdown is not a sustainable long-term solution. Citizens, we must also preserve the health and functioning of our economy. Over the long haul, you can't do one without the other. Cannot be done.
Governor Gavin Newsom announced a $2 billion plan to help schools reopen. Its aim is to get grades K through six back into schools, but of course, safe. I want to improve our efforts to get everybody moving in a similar direction to be back on track across the spectrum by early spring of 2021. Part of the plan stating that in-person learning is the best option for students learning, mental health and social needs. The Angeles School District is the latest and one of the largest in the country to say they're not going back to school in the fall. Mistake. What do you tell parents and teachers who feel that it's unsafe to go back? I would tell parents and teachers that you should uh, Find yourself a new person, whoever's in charge of that decision, because it's a terrible decision. When are the people who support these politicians and vote for them ever going to wake up? When are they ever going to stop being ignorantly blind to the very blatant bullshit? Uh, Biden released, like, some kind of draft of what he wants for the uh, next COVID relief bill. I can't believe there's going to be yet another one that just... Embarrassing. Embarrassing that there needs to be another one. It's not like they didn't have time to get one right. AOC has a problem with it. She's like, why isn't there $2,000? I only see $1,400. A lot of good ideas. Way, way, way too expensive. That is the general review of uh, Joe Biden's uh, plan to uh, provide a little bit more COVID stimulus at almost $2 trillion. The rap you're hearing from uh, Republicans, even the, uh, some Democrats, that uh, it's not going to fly at that figure. Uh, Alexandra Ocasio-Cortez is of a different mindset, though. She was particularly critical of some of the stimulus within the stimulus plan itself, particularly $1,400 checks that she thought would be $2,000. Now, uh, the president-elect has said it is $2,000 if you add the, the, the $600 that was in the last measure approved by Congress a little more than a few weeks ago. I try my hardest to not think I'm smarter than other people. But me and everybody I know, everyone I have personally talked to, assumed if there is another bill, that it's gonna be $1,400 to make it the 2000. Like, you know it's sad when Biden has to break something down for her. AOC is demanding the money and I swear, just the, another case of politicians thinking this is just their money and she's still pushing for another two grand. And um, yeah, I think this is just a sign of things to come, the way that it's gonna go. People are gonna tell Biden, do this, do this, do this. And once there's enough pressure applied, he'll cave. He's a weak man. Well, this is a sign of things to come. So they're clearly shifting the goalposts, specifically the progressives in Congress. Um, it was Ocasio-Cortez. She was one of the first people to propose $2,000 stimulus checks. Bernie Sanders was as well. And now that Biden is doing that by adding $1,400 to an already $600 check, that's not enough anymore. And this is exactly what's going to happen, especially now. We all know Biden will be getting inaugurated soon. That sucks ass. Um, nothing we can really do about it except, I don't know, overthrow the government. Just kidding, YouTube, that's a joke. Ha 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 ha. But Biden will be getting inaugurated in just, what, four days, I think? Three, by the time I upload this. And that is really depressing. It's embarrassing. It's sad. And I think a lot of people are actually getting depressed over it. Um, honestly, I, I've been in a bad-ass mood ever since the election and it's been like two months i don't good luck to all of us for the next four years and probably beyond because the fact that nothing was addressed and people are still disputing um election interference even though there was never an investigation never a chance for anybody anybody to really show any evidence um wasn't looked at was never taken serious despite how many people did vote for Trump. I'm just, I'm, I'm just worried about the country. I'm disappointed and I'm scared for the future. Real positive again. But on another note, I think I'm going to start like a whole different like little segment section thing on my YouTube um, just so that I do have something positive to make every week. I want to get out like one video talking about, you know, various political shit. And then I want to get another one out where I'm either trying something I've never tried before or grading people's lives, like celebrities, 
politicians, powerful people, and um, just basing them on their personality, their wealth, the things they've done, said, made, created, all that. So I feel like I don't get to show you guys enough of my personality because I swear I'm not this depressing dark person all the time. I'm really not. <laughs> and um, I think that would be a great way to cheer myself up, um, be able to get out more content for you guys because like I said, it's this shit just it puts me in a dark place mentally i just get anxiety and i worry about the future so look forward to that um hopefully i'll get one out within a week i don't know who i'm gonna start with so if you have any suggestions comment um and let me know who you would like to hear me uh talk shit about basically or not talk shit about um thank you for watching i hope you liked the video um, if you did, please give it an actual like. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already. We're at 160 subscribers and that's so cool. And I appreciate you guys watching, especially the ones that come back every single time. Um, I will see you guys next time. Bye!